Welcome back to the Vanessa Show with Ben and Boyzones, Ronan and mm -hmm. Keith. There are all kinds of questions for them now because we're going to use them as a couple of agony uncles. Ooh. And we're starting with some super fans who are standing by on the phone, almost, I'm told, hyperventilating with anticipation. <laughs> oh, but you are, used, you are used to people reacting to you like that. So let's speak first of all to Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Hello. You're on to your idols here, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte, how are you? Hello, Charlotte. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, Good morning, thanks. darling. Now, you're going to thanks. use their expertise and tap into their knowledge and experience, Charlotte. What have you got to ask them? Um, well, my dad is changing the rear shock absorbers on his Land Rover Discovery. Right. And he wants to know if it's best to fit bushes as well. Is it best to what, sorry, you broke up there? To fit poly bushes. Well, will he be taking the vehicle off-road, Charlotte? <laughs> no, <laughs> Well, OK, I mean, it's not necessary then. I am... Um, with the, with the wonderful roads you have in this country, it, it's, I don't think it's necessary. Are you, you trying, are you trying to slag the, the roads we have in Ireland? I'm saying, there's good roads here. Now. Yeah, just be okay. careful. We've great roads at home. We've brilliant but roads. I home. don't think it's necessary, but, you know, if he was going off-road, maybe. Maybe. That's what I'd say. Charlotte, you have a boy's own question as well, because you're a fairly devoted and passionate fan, aren't you, really? I am, for 18 years. Wow. wow. And Thank you're going to you. be checking out this particular tour, I know that. Since before we yeah. got together. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pretty impressive. I'm going to London O2 and I'm coming over to Dublin to see them. Oh, oh very really good. Good. Thank, Thank you very much. So what do you want to know, Charlotte? Um, well, on your comeback tour in 2008, when you were singing um, When the Going Gets Tough, you were running on treadmills with no tops on. Oh, yes. And yeah. Keith has been on Twitter recently saying how he's been in the gym. So oh. I was just wondering if we're going to see any more topless activity on this tour. Um. On stage or off stage? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said Keith had been on Twitter saying that he's been drinking gin. <laughs> no, no, no. On the treadmill. Saying, just <laughs> Don't duck the question. Are you or are you not going to be getting your top? No, up? I think we've done a lot of that, haven't we? Ah, there'd be a little bit of flesh. Let's let's be honest. But uh, our stylist Shelley, she <laughs> likes to put us in suits and shirts and ties and stuff like that. But we will take them off. <laughs> <laughs> what Charlotte is the most extreme thing you've ever done to see Boyzone? Um. I don't know. I fly over to Dublin every couple of months, just on the off chance, maybe see them. <laughs> wow. So you yeah. should come to Castle Bar. It's going to be a great gig on Paddy's Day, the 17th of March. It will, actually. It's going to be an emotional oh. one. It'll be a big gig, that, for us. It's Stephen's birthday that day as well, so... Charlotte, yeah. fantastic yeah. to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for calling. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks, Bye, Charlotte. Charlotte. Now, see Ben's you. been on the street finding yes. out what fans would like to ask oh, you. Right. Yeah, I did, yeah. No, I went out there and I, I decided to ask them just weird, weird questions. What would you ask Bo Boyzone, but not about them? So, Our see. daughter always has trouble going to sleep. What would your advice be to get them off at night time? Well, oh. if you were to ask my granny that question, she'd say, <laughs> know, sure put, say, put a wee little bit of whiskey in her bottle and she'd be grand. <laughs> okay, don't try this at home, for God's no, sake. No, 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 absolutely no, don't. Don't let try that at home. <laughs> don't. A little bit of whiskey doesn't harm yeah. her. No, it's grand. I can't yeah. really say. No, it's not, it's not true. No, no, no not that. that. OK, what um, else? I tire them out. Chase them around the house. Tire them out as best you can. That's the one thing with kids. I have three of them. And if, uh, you know, if, if they have a busy day, you know, if they're active, Kids always sleep great at night then. That's what I find anyway. But there, are, there is common problems with trying to get children to sleep in their own bed mm -hmm. for a start mm. uh, when they're very young. And it is about training them how to do it effectively. And it's rewarding positive uh, actions, reinforcing positive what, a stick actions. stick chart, that kind Well, of no, thing. basically, you put the kid into their cot or into yeah. their bed and they're going to cry, so yeah. you let them cry. The first night, you let them cry for maybe, you know, 15 minutes and you go back in, give them a cuddle, leave them there, leave the room. The following night, you know, give them a half an hour. Can we you know? expect wow. the Keith Duffy childcare manual to be no, no, well, it's, 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 it's his wife, Lisa, is still trying to do it with him. <laughs> so that's why he knows this. Yeah. She's, up, she's up to four hours now. Before I cry, it's great. <laughs> My dad just used it very simply. Do you want to go to bed with a smack or without a smack? That's it. Yeah, well, thank you. That was it. He does it as well. Yeah, quick, yeah, it was quick. Yeah, that helps, All right, so. next on the telephone, Karina's there. Hi, Karina. Hi. How Hi, are you? I'm fine, thank you. How's everyone there? Are you all a dither? You sound a bit a dither. Oh, I'm absolutely shaking. <laughs> Thought hey, so. Karina, how are you? Nice to I'm talk to you. Thank you. What would you like to ask the gentleman, Karina? Yeah, um, if you woke up in the morning with a big spot on your face, would you squeeze it, leave it, cover it with your wife's makeup or something else? Oh. And squeeze it. Especially if it, if it was yellow, you'd have to get it out there, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be gone. Get rid of it. Bit of pseudo cream on top, grand. I think it's worse when you squeeze them sometimes. If you let yes. them naturally go away, 
um, I think it's better because you squeeze them, especially doing what we do if we're going on TV or something and you, you just have this big red <laughs> spot in your face. Yeah, but yeah. Sarah hides it. Sarah's great at hiding it. But if you don't it. squeeze it, then it's like a great big lump, isn't it? No, no, not, not good. Is it, what do you want to do? do? <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with Rob. Don't, 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 don't squeeze it. I leave it a natural course, yeah. natural course but or whatever. actually, looking at you, both, your skin is flawless. They've got lovely yeah. skin, yeah. Yeah. you've got to admit. That's what else down, would you like to ask? Because Sarah O'Brien. You are... <laughs> Our number's at the bottom of the You screen. are no. a devoted <laughs> fan, Karina. What else would you like to ask, sweetheart? Yeah, rehearsals are underway for the tour. Have you guys had a chance to rehearse with the holographic equipment that you're using and how does it feel to perform with it? We're, we're actually not using holograms. Uh, we can't. We can't use the holographic thing. Sh sorry. Um, we, try we attempted it, but it's not possible. We would have had to have filmed Stephen in 4D, if that makes sense, to be able to then use it as a holographic image. So we only have actual well, footage. 2D footage. So, mm. so we will be using a lot of footage and a lot of stuff you've never seen before um, on the screens. Um, but we won't be, it's not possible to do that, sadly. It would have been incredible, but uh, we can't make it happen. Tell us, Karina, about your old man and Aberdeen and how lovely he is to you. Um, sorry? Tell us about your old man and, uh, and Aberdeen and how kind your husband is to you. Oh, my, oh, my husband puts up with so much. Um, mm. I'm coming through to the Cardiff uh, gig on the 22nd mm. and I'm actually having to come through by myself. But he's uh, driving through with me and staying in the hotel whilst I go to the gig. Well, and why does he not want to come to the show, or you just don't have a ticket? <laughs> <laughs> no, he he would if um, he had to. But for me to get the best seat that I could, I had to buy one ticket. <gasps> right. Um, but you know, I think you guys should take pity on me and let me come backstage and meet. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll we'll sort out a ticket for your husband, and you can come backstage as well. We'll Ooh, see you in that's Cardiff. Nice. That's thank nice. You. Yeah, stay, thank you. Thank you very stay much. Stay on the line and uh, give <laughs> us your details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will see you with you right away. <laughs> Bring your husband along. Believe me, he'll love the show too. You don't have to be female to enjoy a boys' own show. Uh, very true. Very yeah. true. Now, listen, you, you asked another question out there. I asked another you? question, another completely random question, but it was about holidays. Check this out. Okay. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Which is your favourite Caribbean island? I was married on the island of Nevis. Ah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lovely. Yvonne and I, so that, that is magnificent. It's very, you know, unspoiled. Mm. You know, it's right next to St. Kitts and a really special place. Mm. So that, for me, is probably one of my favourites. There's no tourists there at all, yeah, well, there is, is there's, a, there's a nice hotel there, Four Seasons. Um, mm. But, uh, and Princess Diana actually went there and stayed there, and there's a, some beautiful um, uh, plantation houses and stuff you can stay wow. on. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Where have you been out there? You've been a few places. Yeah, we went to Grenada a couple of times on holidays oh, right. and went to St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. And both of them, they're just beautiful places. Yeah. But they got destroyed with a, um, a tornado there a few years back. Oh. Well, Grenada did, right. I believe. Um, and I believe it's, it's back in, in action again. Well, so it's a lovely part of the world to visit. 10 out of 10 geography question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 These boys have been all around the world. Yeah, they have. <laughs> We've got Lynn on the phone. Hello, Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, you're there. Hi. And it's not just you in the family that, that loves Boys Own. It's not. It's me mum as well. Uh, <laughs> oh. Hiya, Lynn. How's it going? Oh, yeah, brilliant. How are you all right? I'm good, thanks. Hi, Lynn. What would you Hi, like Lynn. to ask the agony uncles today? Um, <laughs> me mum's got a question first, so bear with me. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, Hi mum. <laughs> Hello. You guys have been our inspirations to life for 18 years. Oh. What are your inspirations and why? What's your inspiration, Rob? Uh, well, my family, really. My kids, my wife, my, my, uh, my career. I, I feel blessed that I'm still here, I guess, after 17 years getting away with it. Um, I love what I do. And music. And I still enjoy listening to music. I mean, I listen to the radio all the time. I buy new records every week. I, I still like to physically buy albums um, rather than downloading and reading the credits. And that's mm. my passion. That's my, music is my thing, and that's what I love. So... It inspires me every day. Music keeps me going. And as I said, my kids. You, does? Yeah, I suppose I'm inspired by, by my kids. I've, I have a little girl called Mia. She's a very special little lady. And um, she is an inspiration. And that would be the biggest inspiration in my life. And I know you've got a question for them about Twitter, haven't you? Um, well, we know Shane doesn't go on Twitter and we absolutely follow you and Keith really every day. We like look to see if you're on. Um, do you feel it's a beneficial factor that you interact with the fans? I know Lynn. Her picture just came up there. I know Lynn. Lynn's a dedicated Boys Own fan. A die hard fan. Um, just the just saw your picture. Um, trying to get Shano on Twitter, forget about it. <laughs> it's ridiculous, <laughs> right? Shano still has one of those 
prehistoric t- mobile phones with the big aerial and yes. the thing that comes down yeah. and he goes like that hello yeah it's like it's like yeah. Dom Jolly you know yeah. when he when he's it's like an aircraft carrier yeah. that he brings around with him in fact I remember one day Rose said because he doesn't do emails he doesn't do computers he barely does phones and Rose says to him one day I'm just going out and I'm going to buy a Blackberry so that you can get your emails he goes Ro I won't use it I won't use it. I'll ring that number off. The, I'll ring that number yeah. off the telly. One one eight. One one eight. I get three hundred and fifty quid for it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll sell it. I'll sell it. As soon as you give it to me. I mean, he's just—he's not into it. He doesn't like it. I should like just it. tell you, yeah, Lynn's coming to no fewer than twelve of your gigs. Wow. wow. Pretty devoted. I'm hoping to make that amount as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much me. to all our callers. Thanks, and a very little special something from the boys will be in the post to you very soon. So Ben and I and Ronan and Keith will be back in just a few minutes. But first. Are there any bridezillas out there? Do you want to know how to bring in your big...